Peace, everyone. My name is Chief Sabi Indigenous. I took the name Sabi after putting myself through a very easy and greatly beneficial 44-day fast. Of course, food was the core of my fast. I let go of all food and soft drinks. I only put water in my body for the whole 44 days. That was the easy part. See, my fast was a true fast. I had to fast from my freedom to gain true freedom. I had to fast from my family to gain true family. I had to fast from worry, from anger, from doubt, from stress, from sex, from all the hate the world has been feeding me my whole life. The hardest part was my fast from my responsibility. Most beings never truly appreciate a fast and gain true benefits from it because they think that the fast is just about starving oneself of food. But I'll expound on the true beneficial fast in my next video entitled such. Chief is fully explained in my video entitled What is a Chief that I'll be dropping soon. And hey everybody, I'm just letting you know I'm working on a podcast app trying to see how this will work, y'all, and um, I'm going to be dropping the link to my podcast, y'all, and I'm going to be doing a daily podcast, so if anybody's interested in that, that would be greatly beneficial for y'all to add me on the podcast, and y'all will get first, I guess, first early access. All right, I want to take a quick second to point something out. As usual, all my videos will be in concordance with each other. There's a significance to that. I'm not all over the place with my thoughts and therefore my content is not all over the place overstand i manifest in real life lessons in a simple format which complements the next lesson whether you start at lesson one or 100 and study each one in any random sequence you will never know that you're not watching them in order that's the beauty and brilliance of christ consciousness And I show and prove that in my old videos because I hadn't even had self-realization of Christ yet. And yet all my videos have an uncoordinated concordance about them. Now, Chief Briefly is my self-declaration of being fearless leader of my tribe, which is the tribe of mud. Sabi is my manifestation of the concepts and wisdoms of Dr. Sabi, who was assassinated. The Sabi denotes the fact that I openly show allegiance to the truth over falsehood and that I hold the same simple and under an overstanding of sickness and its cause and cures. As above mentioned, Sabi also is in reference to my intense fast method and the wisdom of the different levels of fast and its purposes and benefits. Also, Dr. Sabi reminds me of my father who was killed when I was an infant but who I saw and spoke to when I was growing up frequently. I'm always saying I'm 100% indigenous to the Americas on both sides of my family tree. And it's true because I have the proper understanding of ancient and modern America. And I recognize that El Salvador and the Honduras are one in the same place. And both are part of the indigenous territories. I'm part in, I'm part Honduran like Dr. Sebi from my father's side. I'm only now realizing the rich culture of my genealogy. I am equal parts North, South, and Central American. Make sure you catch my video entitled, Why America? I love the term America and I see no wrong in its use for its simple simplicity. Anywho, indigenous, that's a unique and beautiful part of my manifestation because I learned the etymology and concept of indigenous as a child. And when I made my appearance in the personage of indigenous realists, here on YouTube, I was only I was the only creator using that term above Aboriginal, Indigenous, Autochthonous, etc. Even Indian. We are Indigenous, the Christ manifest, the only realist we've met all year, and this year in 2020. Unfortunately, we chose to drop the realist off my channel name only. But not at heart or in mind, indigenous realists is still our brand and our most notorious manifestation online, that is. Be on the lookout for a video about recreating oneself and also a few videos on the multiple minds and digital minds and minds in general. Oh, and be on the lookout for personages and personality video. 
This video was originally going to be just me explaining my name, but we would also like to just give a brief summary of the direction we are moving with this channel. First, let's do a quick recap of my first channel. My channel was called Indigenous Realist, later called Indigenous Realist Live, created in November 2018. Well, that's when we uploaded the first video, that is. We had zero subscribers and zero views within four months. Pardon self. Within three months, we accumulated 400,000 views and over 5,000 subscribers. We made over 150 videos in that first three months, all off an iPhone 7 Plus. Not bad for someone who had been in prison since he was 12 and taught himself how to make videos and was self learned, never attended proper education system. We took a vocation. Oh, excuse me, pardon myself. We took a vacation that ended my first manifestation. We went through the worst six months of my entire life off camera between the time when we made the second Martin Luther King video and now. That's the quick recap highlight. Now, let's visualize where we are going with this channel. Indigenous Realist social media got shut down by the feds along with Gmail. But that is our brand hashtag and unification point at all times, period. I'm still Indigenous Realist the Realist. The channel is now going to be ran by Chief Sabi Indigenous. We will push our message with short videos with a lot of unique concepts and breakdowns from our unique perspective. As usual, we will not be staying in tune or in line with any other content creator on YouTube. And the concepts and views and topics we build on will be from our subconscious suggestions of what needs to be brought forth at what time. This channel will be ran as it is a completely new channel. All indigenous really, realist videos have been taken down except for a key few. We are not going to be hiding our intentions this go around. We are here to stay. We are legion on mud. Of course, we will still be doing live streams, but not daily. This will not be a live streaming channel. This go around, it's a straight learning center slash recruitment zone. The mud doors will be available for entrance to all those deemed trustworthy or able to keep up and be loyal to the tribe. This isn't a kumbaya tribe. We want warriors. We want Christ-like individuals. We want brilliant minds. We want sound mind and body. We, we are not pro-black. We are not anti-American. We are not anti-government. We are not racist. We are a scholarly tribe of warriors and enlighteners. The Mud Tribe is the most unique example of a modern tribe of new age upright men and women. We are militant. We are everything a tribe should be. The tribe is active and we have members joining daily in Mud We Trust. Unfortunately, the concepts and ways of the mud will not be uploaded onto YouTube. We are an open house come ye all tribe. Mud Tribe is the Mud Tribe. Pardon self. Mud tribe is mud tribe, but we still love and support and are one with all the tribes of our indigenous people. Everyone is welcome to join if you meet the standards of the tribe. Trust me, be ye true to self and the culture of our people, you will be allowed admittance. After deep contemplation and discussing with my elders, we will now be initiating upright men and women into the most ancient rite of master builders in the world. Indigenous realists caused major uproar when we declared that we were a master mason. We introduced the term master builder or builder period back to our indigenous aboriginal people. We had over a thousand men asking to be initiated into the most ancient rite of builders. The time wasn't right to accept membership. Now that we have our elders in active participation, we can accept upright men into the right. Also, we are developing an online university where we may all learn through courses at our own pace, the science of everything in life, which is self. We are Chief Sabian Indigenous, Chief of the Lost and Found Mud Tribe. The most active tribe of original inhabitants available to our people created for us by us. With no intermixed pseudo BS or fake his stories or Asiatic languages. LOL. We ain't rocking with nor affiliating with Red Indians. Period. We openly declare all civilized tribes through our genealogy is rich with various tribes of old and renowned. We still openly declare the five civilized tribes as traitors and enemies of the mud tribe due to the fact that they sold us out. Speaking on the reservations. Not our indigenous aboriginal brothers and sisters who use those tribal names. No. 
We are speaking directly about the Asian immigrants, Mongoloid descendants who sit on reservations making a mockery of our culture. Period. Besides the culture vultures slash claim jumpers, we totally we are totally smoke free and without enemies. Any anyway, it's hashtag no looking back in reference to our past. Don't ask me how our family is, lol. We don't have one. Okay, now I gotta pause. That was this was actually written um 2019 around like September. Wait, around October. So. You know what I'm saying? Just stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? I now have been embraced by my family, but not the side of family that I was at. I'm with my family, though. Peace of mind bestowed on everyone. Comment your suggestions or criticisms. Email us for info or inquiries. My email is themudtribe at gmail.com and sabiindigenous at gmail.com and also indigenous to Christ at gmail.com. Please contact us for information, y'all. Don't get it off the internet. Don't go by he say, she say. If you want the truth, you know where the truth is at, y'all. It's Chief Sabi Indigenous. Indigenous realist to realist rocking out. Swift Angel number one. Sabiel. I'm gone. Peace.